Hi, Trevor Tonight here, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be preparing sea moss two different ways. One is going to be blended raw, the other one I'm going to simmer, and then I'm going to blend. And I'm going to show you the difference between the two, and I'm going to be comparing the two in terms of texture, taste, and nutritional benefits. Um, it's going to be interesting to see the difference between the two, so stay tuned to find out what happens. I'm not going to soak it for long, so I'm going to soak it for about an hour, maybe two hours. I'm just going to wait for it to double in size. So it's going to it's going to rise up to the top of this. And what I'm going to do is, once it's doubled in size, maybe quadrupled in size, I'm going to drain off some of the water at the top. And then I'm going to use the rest of it with the sea water to blend it. Gel, and then half of it, I'm going to boil it, and I'm going to use that, that water to boil it, and hopefully it's going to go into a gel. Excellent. So from here, I'm going to do that. Okay, so now I'm ready to remove the lime and lemon, rinse the sea moss one more time, and then I'm going to split it in half. Half I'm going to boil, um, or should I say simmer, on the, on the um, hob for about 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, uh, including the time it's gonna take it to heat up and come up to, to simmer. The other one I'm just going to blend without actually bringing heat to it. Now, the reason for this is that I, every time I've, I've blended my CMOS in my Nutribullet, it's actually heated up the CMOS to the point where it was actually boiling. And the reason I don't actually boil it is because I don't want to heat it up twice because it's already been heated up by the, um, by the blending process itself. <laughs> Thank you. 
this up to when it starts simmering and I'm gonna turn the heat right down I don't want to boil it I, I just want it to simmer so I don't want to have too much heat to the point where it's boiling I just want to simmer it so I'm gonna bring it up to, to when it starts just bubbling and then I'm gonna turn the heat right down you go there well Okay, so I'm ready to jar up. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use uh, two different types of jars. So in here, I'm gonna put the one that's not um, boiled. So this is just soak and blend. And then uh, the one that's gonna be uh, off the heat, let it cool and then blend, will go into this jar. So I can tell the difference between the two. I can drink that straight. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna turn that off and let that cool down before I blend it, fantastic. And over here, we're all done. Um, these are in here. I'm gonna leave the lids off for it to cool down. And then once it's cooled down properly, I'm gonna put the lids on and then pop them into the fridge, both. Okay, so I'm all done. I, um, this is my regular one, no heat, it's just straight, clean, soaked for two hours, blend, that's that one. And this one is the one that I cleaned, soaked, simmered for 15 minutes and then blended. The difference is quite visual because this one's lighter than that one. Um, this takes less time to blend than this and there's a slight difference in taste. Um, I just want to try them again because the one where I don't introduce heat tastes, hmm, tastes more like the sea. Hmm. huge difference in taste. So the one that I simmered is not as, it's a more subtle taste, it's quite mild. It doesn't taste much like sea moss. It tastes almost like nothing. It tastes like water, basically. Whereas the one that I did not introduce heat to is quite strong, it's quite potent. It tastes more like the sea, it's like that, that seaweed-like taste, basically. Um, I also, I also, <laughs> made myself a seamless drink. Um, oh. oh wow, that is amazing. I really like the taste of that. Mm. It's almost got like a citrusy taste to it. Um, that is delicious. So this is what I'm having for my dinner today. Um, looking forward to it. Tastes amazing, tastes amazing. Really excited about this. So that's how I prepare my seamless today. No heat, 
Heat versus Heat. I'm going to tell you the difference as I go along throughout the week. Um, I'm going to start with... Hmm, so I've been having this all the time. So hmm, I'm going to start off with this. And then I will move on to the one that I introduced Heat. And I can tell you, sort of give you some feedback as to the difference in how I feel after taking it. Whether it makes a difference, whether it not. It doesn't make a difference. 